Mike. What do you mean, not like Mike? I don't know. What did Mike do? No, Mike. I, I don't know. Q. Q? Q. A couple of weeks ago, my sister started dating this guy who seemed really nice at first, but now just seems controlling and abusive. We all started to notice a change in her around the time of prom. 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 Or right around the time of prom. So, are you ready for our, uh, our, tech, or our test next class? We have a test? We have our psychology midterm. You're kidding me right now. I am on three hours of sleep. I was on the computer all night. I just don't even know. Why weren't you studying? Because I forgot. I it's our midterm. I know that you are. Why are you so dumb? This is going to be uh, good. good. All right. Well, I'll see you in class. OK. Hey. Hey. So I um, got the tickets for prom. Everything's set to go. You bought the tickets. Yeah, I told you I would. <sighs> Trey, I told you not to buy them until I talked to my dad. I don't know what's going to happen. Why haven't you talked to him yet? I told you I would, but you have to be patient with me. I just spent 160 bucks on these tickets. Now they're going to go to waste? I told you not to buy them. I just, I don't know what you want me to say. Look at me. Why won't you do this for me? What are you talking about? Just give me time. Do you not care about me? No, of course do I do. you not want to be seen with me? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Then why won't you do this? Let go of me. When more of our friends started to notice Trey becoming physical with Alicia, we knew it was time to say something. He would apologize to her, but then make her feel guilty for treating him poorly. Do you know mom and dad are not going to be okay with this? Guys, he's fine. He doesn't mean any harm. Yes, he's like, okay, you're my baby sister. I'm going to Okay, guys. He loves me. Oh, my God. No, no, Alicia, he he's just he's saying, saying that. that. No, no, he's, he's, no, he's just saying, saying that. He doesn't he be grabbing me like that. He doesn't grab me. It's fine. Alicia, we need to talk. Really? Don't do this. Alicia. Alicia. I got it. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I got worked up and shouldn't have done that. It's just that sometimes it's frustrating dealing with you because I don't feel like you care about me. I don't feel like you listen to me either. See? That's what I'm talking about. You always look down. You're looking away. You're not looking at me. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what, what you want me to do. I want to be treated with a little more respect. Okay. Um... Alicia, we've gotten We're busy. I'll talk to you later. As more time passed, things went from bad to worse, and Trey became more violent. He physically grabbed her, he yelled at her, and then he threatened her. Alicia. Hi. What the hell was that earlier? What? You with your friends. What are you talking about? Talking about me behind my back? We were talking about you. Don't lie to me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sick and tired of this. Okay. Why can't you just do what I asked? I will. I will. I'm sorry. Now you're going to go home and you're going to talk to your parents. Otherwise, I will. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Nearly one in five teenage girls who have been in a relationship, set a boyfriend, threaten violence or self-harm if presented with a breakup. 
and on average, more than three women a day are murdered by their husbands or boyfriends in the United States. There are many people out there who are going through the same thing, and you are not alone. There is help. There is help. If you know someone, or you are experiencing signs of an abusive relationship yourself, there is help and there are resources available.